Following the Iowa caucus, Senator Bernie Sanders has stepped up his attacks against Mayor Pete Buttigieg and his billionaire donors, and he did so brilliantly in this next video. It's in the Democratic Party right now. And I'm reading some headlines from newspapers about Pete Buttigieg. Pete Buttigieg has most exclusive billionaire donors of any Democrat. That's, that was from Forbes, The Hill. Pete Buttigieg tops billionaire donor list. Fortune, Pete Buttigieg takes lead as big business candidate in 2020 field, Washington Post. The finance, uh, Pete Buttigieg lures even closer look from Wall Street donors following strong Iowa caucus performance. Forbes magazine, here are the billionaires backing Pete Buttigieg's presidential campaign. I like Pete Buttigieg, nice guy. But we are in a moment where billionaires control not only our economy, but our political life. Now, you may disagree with me on this issue. Fine. I don't think everything that we say is 100% correct. It needs discussion. Nobody has all of the answers. But that's basically the issue. Whose side are you on? Do you think if you're collecting money from dozens and dozens of billionaires, you're going to stand up to the drug companies? And you're going to throw their CEOs in jail if they have acted criminally in killing people all over this country with opioids that they knew were addictive and killing people. And of course, he goes on, basically making the point that, hey, if you're taking money from billionaires, then you're not going to serve the people. And he's absolutely right about that. Uh, and by the way, all those sources, they're all news sources, right? So you want to talk about billionaires? Well, then there you go, billionaire donors. Uh, and so this attack, by the way, follows a claim uh, on a Facebook ad, by the way, uh, where Bernie Sanders is alleged to have been taking dark money. Bernie Sanders does not take dark money. He does not take corporate PAC money uh, or money from lobbyists or money from bundlers. In fact, every rich person that has donated to his campaign, he has literally returned the money. So, I mean, look, his average donation this quarter was around 18 bucks. Uh, and the most represented career for a Bernie donor is teacher. So educator, right? Then you got people that work at Target, you work at the post office, you got Amazon, right? People working in Amazon warehouses. Those are the people represented. Pete's donors, well, according to a Forbes analysis, are more likely to be located in either a wine cave or a yacht. Now, they write, while Sanders has refused donations from billionaires, Buttigieg has more exclusive billionaire donors than any other Democrat in the race. And so this is a analysis here. As of September 30th, 2019, when the Forbes analysis was done, Buttigieg had accepted donations from 40 billionaires and their spouses, 13 of whom have donated exclusively to the former mayor of South Bend, Indiana. Only one candidate had more billionaires than Buttigieg, Joe Biden was 44. Now, it's actually Buttigieg that has more donors, uh, billionaire donors, than Joe Biden. Now, one, many of their uh, donor, uh, I'm sorry, many of Buttigieg donors uh, have made their wealth in finance and investments, including hedge fund billionaires Bill Ackman, Philip LaFont, and Seth Klarman. Seth Klarman, of course, is related to Shadow, uh, which is the company that made the app in Iowa that was a disaster. Now, two of the biggest deep-pocketed donors to Buttigieg also have connections to, and you're going to love this, Donald Trump. As Hyatt Hotel's heiress and trans-retired uh, Army Lieutenant Colonel Jennifer Pritzker and Daryl Roth, the wife of Trump business partner Stephen Roth, both have backed Buttigieg's campaign. Buttigieg also has the backing of a lot of people in the tech industry, including Wendy Schmidt, the wife of former Google CEO Eric Schmidt, and Netflix chief executive Reed Hastings, a duo that recently helped host a fundraiser for Buttigieg in Sil Silicon Valley. So you have all of these wealthy billionaires that are giving money to Mayor Pete. And of course, Bernie Sanders is 100% right to point that out. He says, look, are, are you going to work for the regular person if you're getting money from all of these giant corporations? Now, I know when, whenever you bring this up, there's this indignant attitude when you point out, hey, man, look, 
uh, you take all this corporate money, the, how are you going to serve the people? Their response usually is, how dare you? How dare you? But look, in reality, these are the people or corporations that Buttigieg owes, is going to owe. And how does he return their investment or give them a return on their investment? Well, by serving their interests. By pushing for deregulation, tax cuts, corporate giveaways, all that stuff. And so it's important to know who is going to be prioritized in the next administration that we're going to have. Obama worked for the banks. He got a lot of money from the banks and then bailed them out to the tune of trillions of dollars in bailout money. This is why, oh, wow. Of course, regular people suffered and lost their homes, lost their jobs, and lost a large amount of wealth, especially the African-American community. You have to know who these politicians are going to serve before you vote for them. And from what I can see, Bernie Sanders is the only person who I know is going to serve our interests because we are the ones that fund Bernie Sanders. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.